For decades, the widespread practice of beach mining has been weakening the fragile shoreline of South Tarawa, the most populated atoll in the small island nation of Kiribati. This practice has been putting vulnerable communities to even greater risk from the increasing impacts of climate change and rising sea levels. To counter this problem, the government of Kiribati has now launched a new state-owned enterprise to dredge much-needed building aggregate from the floor of the South Tarawa Lagoon. With support from the European Union and the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, the new state-owned Astin Marawa Aggregates Company will use a purpose-built dredge vessel to dredge aggregates from the lagoon before it is processed and sold to customers. The new dredge vessel, the MV Teki Marawa, has a shallow draft for lagoon work and can carry a total payload of 300 tons. The government hopes this innovative, market-driven enterprise could soon spell the end of a practice that has been literally undermining its vulnerable coastline. Well, it's, it's a serious attempt at trying to protect, uh, protecting our islands. Um, already we are seriously, seriously challenged with the, uh, uh, the climate change impacts. We have seen evidence of that in the first uh, few months of this year. Um, to, to mine the shoreline would uh, expose us unduly. And so, yes, it is an example. It is a way of demonstrating. And uh, we don't, it's not a matter of trying to demonstrate to the world, but I think it's a matter of necessity that we must do this because we have to do it. Beach aggregate is a combination of sand, gravel, pebbles and stones that has been commonly used for making concrete, road construction and building developments. Faced with a growing demand for building aggregates, the government approached the SPC's Applied Geoscience and Technology Division for advice on how it could source more sustainable supplies of sand and gravel from the lagoon floor. I think it's the only option that we have, given the fact that we don't have a lot of material from which to, 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 to supply our building requirements. And uh, if, if we were to mine too much from uh, the, the the strip of land, the very uh, thin strips of land that we already have, we would have huge uh, problems. SPC scientists used sophisticated computer models to determine if aggregates could be dredged from the lagoon in an environmentally and economically sustainable way. Detailed studies found that the lagoon contained abundant aggregate deposits that can be safely exploited at low cost for the next 50 to 70 years. However, before any dredging could begin, project engineers had to find a way to avoid the many dangerous remnants of World War II that still littered the lagoon floor. In 1943, the United States dropped two and a half thousand tons of munitions to support its amphibious landings during the infamous Battle of Tarawa. It is still highly likely that much of this material still contains a large number of unexploded devices. Out of this server, I think there's probably about 10 wrecks. A lot of the ones I'm finding are in about 12 meters of water. I think the shallowest I've seen is about 6 meters. You don't want to be pulling up 500 pound bombs or something like that that hasn't gone off either. Eh? The SPC's detailed surveys help to locate areas where the dredge can safely operate. This work also helped to greatly improve the charts and maps of the seafloor needed to enable safe passage for all cargo and transport vessels moving in and out of South Tarawa. For decades, beach mining has provided an important source of income for many families in South Tarawa. Well, I think here we have to balance income in the short term as well as survivability in the long term. Uh, government, of course, will, will have to be, to be, will face the challenge of uh, uh, providing uh, the communities, which have thus far been depending on, on destroying the shoreline in order to, 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 to get their living. <laughs> Uh, 
Android kahangai ni. Kalau orang kahai dah pun mahu ringkai ya ke dah. Mana mon day atau mana orang itu nak ni. Mungkin orang ni bayi yang nak. Angan kah mahu ringkai dia. Tapi nak ringkai dia, nak ringkai siapa pun orang kumian. As a government, we will continue to look for opportunities, income generating opportunities. Already we 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 are seeing growth in the economy. I think that is that is happening. So. At a larger level, at larger scale, at a different level, government would have to consider um, generating other economic activities in order to offer alternatives for people. But uh, the current uh, form of my beach mining in order to secure income is, is just not uh, something that we should continue. The Asin Marawa Aggregates Company has already generated new jobs needed for collecting, processing and selling building material to its customers. We know that employment in Kiribati is at a premium as it is in many island countries and the last thing we want to do is take away the livelihoods of, of others. So we will be working in partnership with them for solutions. For example, maybe uh, the products we bring out of the deeper sea are not everything. Maybe we still need a little bit of beach mining. Maybe not to the same extent as before, but we might need a little bit to blend with the products we bring in. Or maybe we harness the skills that they have got in working with our company, or maybe offshoots from our company. Uh, the last thing we want to do is take away jobs. We're here to generate jobs. Both small and large-scale customers are already keen to buy building material from the Asin Marua Aggregates Company. Makuri Sim works for Wishing Star, a Chinese-backed company that is building a large shopping mall in South Tarawa. She says she needs to have access to a regular supply of quality aggregates at reasonable prices. Ari ayah kira kira ikan ibu kini ari atangi ari ibu kini tak kata kau pulik ari kanga atangi ari tanun non temen ari terik ari ane mangana kau ni nai ari kanga puni mei tari nabe itu aku bapun tim tuan tak tahu rawin di tanu ati ati nari kau ini nunggu kini tadi tuan ame tuan na ikan ari tim tuan ayu untau rawin tadi nak kau ane ye ye aku tangi dia ayat aku bapun tanya nak tim tuan pusing tak kampan lah tangi lagi nana be iroyo ame tak ati kau ini nunggu Ultimately, the success of the new aggregates business will depend on its ability to meet the needs of its customers. If this project receives subsidies or donor support, it has failed in the long run. The objective of this project, which is very exciting, is to go from an aid base, which has recognized a problem and a development issue, but to move it into a self-sustaining uh, company or entity. If this company fails to make a profit, if it fails to be commercial, then we have failed in terms of the project. It is hoped that the company will soon be able to provide an effective delivery service to transport aggregate products around the entire atoll. <laughs> In future, Kiribati's new aggregate company also has plans to supply environmentally safe aggregates to nearby Pacific Islands. The director of SBC's Applied Geoscience and Technology Division also believes this new dredging technology could even help South Tarawa to shore up its fragile coastal defences. We know that the building of islands and protection of islands happens all around the world, in China, Korea, Middle East, Europe. So why not here? And we could be part of that uh, game change for protecting not only Kiribati but all the other atoll islands in the Pacific like Tuvalu, Marshall Islands uh, and Tokelau. <laughs>